everybody and welcome back to Let's Go Live. It is week four and episode 15. Gosh. Can you believe that? Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. Hello. You know what to do right now. All together, we, we are live. live. And it is Dino Week. Uh, everybody watching right now live, please give me a dinosaur roar. Ah. <laughs> we'll be finding out later in the week though, if they did, who knows. Um, you can join us uh, at 11 a.m. weekdays live from our spare room. Um, just Interestingly, our neighbour has decided to start mowing the lawn next door. So don't know if you can hear that. Let us yep. know in the live chat. But we've shut all the windows. And that's what happens when you're live in your spare room. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, what sort of thing can, uh, can our watchers expect? As always, the show is packed full of experiments and games and quizzes and guests. Very special guests coming up uh, later in Dino Week. Uh, yes. And of course, lots of your photos. We're going to show some videos at the end of the show and we'll kick off with some photos very soon. But really, you are what make this show special. So hello, thank you for joining us if you're with us live right now. And also, hello if you're watching us back later. Thank you. Um, who's in the live chat? Let's have a look who's in the live chat. We've got uh, Immy from Kings Lynn, who's given us a massive roar. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And we've got Lucy. We've got the Barnett fam uh, family in Northern Ireland. Lily May. Hi, Lily May. Uh, Vaughan in Ireland as well. Oh, we've got a York Raw from Caitlin and Ewan. <laughs> Oliver, aged four. Thank you for joining us. Um, Who else? Oh, gosh, there's so many. Uh, Amelia in Essex. Thomas, Alfie and Percy in Hannah, Beeston. Hannah and Noah as well. Thank you. Uh, ben and Adam are ready for a raw some week. And Connie and Ewan as well. By the way, love that you've all just gone and typed Ooh. rah We've into got the live Charlotte chat. and James listening, uh, watching from the Netherlands as well. Hello, wow. over in the Netherlands. Cora and Morgan in Derby as well. Thank you for joining us. It turns out you lot are just as excited as we are for Dino's Week. Um, shall yeah. we show some of these pictures, Mads? Yeah, definitely. Let's see what some of you've been up to this weekend in preparation. Uh, here we've got Evelyn. She's really excited and spent uh, time this weekend making her own Dino World. Brilliant. Nice. Uh, this is Lily and Leon. <laughs> They're all ready for Dinosaur Week. I think we've got a couple of roars going on there at the same time. I hope so. Um, Violet and Faye, they also made a dino world. Lots of people making dinosaur worlds, but they um, they made theirs using recycling, which I thought was a lovely idea. Love that. Uh, this is James and Dige Dino <laughs> Digestive Dave, uh, and they're going on a space adventure. This is everything rolled into one. Yeah, and it's in the garden as well. So you've even got a bit of garden week in there. Love that. Um, uh, who have we got? Uh, this is Joshua. Joshua was so excited about Dinosaur Week that he made his own dinosaur-themed Easter bonnet. Hope you all had a fantastic Easter, by the way. Love that. Okay, a couple more. Here's one. Uh, Alistair. Alistair is here. He made his own dinosaur world, which had its own erupting volcano. And cool. last but not least, this is Samuel, who's matched his dinosaur bedding with his Jurassic World top <laughs> and dinosaur toys. Yes. I, I think um, I think Samuel's a bit of a, a bit of a dino fan there. Bit of a legend. Um, just so you know, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, make sure you subscribe. And if you click that little bell, then you'll get notified whenever we go live. Uh, we do lots of activities in these episodes and you'll find links to things you need and all of the resources in the description box below the YouTube video. So what have we got coming up this week? So it's well, Dino Week today. Mm-hmm. Today's fossils. Yes. What's tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we are going to be designing a dino. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, Thursday is a dino dinner. Oh, goodness <laughs> Here me. we go. A dino dinner date. That's not even Andy a long dinosaur Day. name. So. Oh, I've just, I've just said with Andy. Andy's coming. Yeah. Uh, and my Andy's going to be joining us, which is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, it's going to be lots and lots of fun. And then Friday, we're going to be talking about um, the end of the dinosaurs. What happened to Question them? mark. Mm. However, we can't really get to that question until we work out um, when the dinosaurs actually were. When did the dinosaurs walk on the planet? I've been working on a thing. Okay, here I've we go. I've been doing my maths again and I've been working on a thing. Okay, now we need to zoom right out All on right, this I can camera. Do that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to push our chairs okay, back I'm and I'll turn the mic wait. up a bit. There we go. Is that is that far enough? Good. Yeah, right. Now we go right back like this. Okay, okay now we need to join hands. Like that? Yeah, like this. Okay, so here's the idea, everyone. Our arms are going to be the complete history of the Earth. Okay. okay? So uh, we're going to start, hang on, with the Earth being formed. Whoa. Right. Give us your finger. Thank you. You are going to be the Earth being formed. Let me add this camera to the mix. Okay, good. So you are going to be the Earth being formed. You're right, Lance. That's Here it. we Shut go. Up. Perfect. Earth formed. Nice. Earth being there. formed. Okay, uh, hold hands. Yeah. 
Okay, which means that up here at my finger, yeah. this is <laughs> this is now. now. Now, okay. Okay, so that's my finger. Right, so that's the full history uh, from the formation of the Earth four and a half billion years ago, right? All the way to now at this side. Got okay, you. Okay, good, right. Now, we're gonna start, Mads. <laughs> the question is, when did life start? Very basic life yep. is actually your, your elbow. Okay, so basic, basic life here. Super simple basic life at your elbow, right. Now, I want to jump to um, early jellyfish. I'm slightly off the camera. Oh no, I need to go this way. Right, there you go. I want to jump to early jellyfish. Now, where do you think we might get early jellyfish, Maddie? Well, if life started here, I reckon jellyfish probably aren't that complicated, so I reckon maybe about my shoulder here. Actually, <laughs> we're yelling so you can hear us on the mic. Early jellyfish are actually there. No. At my shoulder. So that's when we start getting like jellyfish kind of type things. All right? Wow. Then I'm just going to kind of rattle through this. We get fish. What? <laughs> we get fish. Fish with fish with a backbone around wow. 530 million years ago. Yeah. Then we get animals going onto the land. Wow. Around 500 million years ago. This is where we get plants. This is the first time we actually get plants. What? 465 million years ago. But when were the dinosaurs? Well, hang on, we're not there yet. What? Uh, animals, animals with four legs. Okay, animals with four legs going here. We're not yet at dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Wow. So this is where the dinosaurs evolve. So hang on, oh my hand. This Gosh. is the full history of Earth. Oh my goodness me. So here, starting here, Earth formed all the way to there. And dinosaurs didn't appear until your wrist. Till here. Dinosaurs wow. went extinct about there. Wow. So look at that. That's okay. a full history. Okay, now, I've got an idea. Come back in. Come back in. Come okay. back in. So join, join us. Join. Bring us in a bit. Bring us in a bit. Bring Hello, us in team. a bit. So that's the, that's, the, that's the full history. Let's just hide that camera again. That's the full history. Ah! <laughs> Now let's zoom in. Let's zoom in on just that bit from the dinosaurs evolving yeah. to now. So we're going to use just your arm for this. Okay, okay. gladly. Right. So this time, and this is going to help us, it's going to be much easier. So dinosaurs are going to evolve here at your, oh, sorry, That's at right. your uh, shoulder. So this is dinosaurs evolve. Dinosaurs go extinct here. Okay. Wow. At your wrist. Okay. Uh, and we've got now here on the end of your finger. So okay. this is this is us now, literally today. This so this is, is now are. a timeline, a history from when dinosaurs appeared on planet Earth yeah. to when they went extinct. Went extinct, and this is us now. So the uh, the whole period that the dinosaurs were on the Earth can be split into three different chunks, three different periods. Um, the first starts here. It's called. Here you go. Let me. Uh, oh, I can put it to that camera like this. This is the Triassic. So the Triassic starts at the start of when dinosaurs appeared, right? So we've got the Triassic. I'm not going to lie, Greg, my arm is really aching. Okay, you can rest <laughs> on me there. Right. Now, the Jurassic period, Jurassic period starts around about there-ish, right? Yeah. So a little bit of chunk of time. <laughs> Triassic, Jurassic. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Madness. All right. And then the Cretaceous is around about here. Okay. So it's actually about halfway. All right, so actually the most dinosaurs then were around the time of the Cretaceous period. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, well, that's the longest period of time. And the kind of dinosaurs we know and love were around this time. Let me, uh, let me put some dinosaurs. How's this going to work? Okay. I have so, no idea, Greg. Let's start with the Diplodocus. You say Diplodocus. Some people say Diplodocus. I say Diplodocus. I say Diplodocus. Mm. We can all say Dippy. Maybe that just makes... Let's just say Dippy. Right. Dippy... Yeah. Comes in, Dippy's 155 to 145 million years ago. So Dippy is here. <laughs> Dippy is at the end of the Cretaceous uh, period. Lovely. So in the middle of the Jurassic period, and just Let see if just you can balance. Here. See if you can balance Dippy on your arm. Yes. I know, I can't move. Okay, all right. So Dippy is there in the middle of uh, the Cretaceous period. So what about um, Jurassic? So what about another friend of ours? Everybody knows the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh -huh. All right, Tyrannosaurus Rex was actually here. The T Rex was uh, <laughs> the T Rex was the end of uh, the Cretaceous period, right? Yeah. So the T Rex is here. 
So that actually means that a Diplodocus and a T-Rex would never have met. A Diplodocus and a Diplodocus and a T-Rex <laughs> could never have fought because they don't they didn't live at the same time. Nope, stick to your own time, Dippy. <laughs> so Dippy was there, T-Rex was here, they could actually have never met and fought. Oh, Wow. And lots of the big uh, dinos that we know and love are kind yeah. of around this sort of time. So how cool is that? I just found that really interesting. Oh, and just to end this off, just to, no, 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 just to end this off, if you put into scale when early humans evolved, mm -hmm. so, you know, kind of our ancestors, that was around about here. Wowie. So that just gives you a sense of scale of how long the dinosaurs were actually around on the planet for. A tiny amount of time, but much longer than we have been around on the yeah, planet. Yeah, so much okay, longer. Okay, you can rest now. You can rest. That was a bonkers idea. I hope you all enjoyed that. Okay. That was lots of maths and lots of sticky stuff, which I love. Okay. Right, so we oh. know when the dinosaurs were um, on the planet, but I think we actually need to work out what is a dinosaur, because we do tend to get a little bit confused. What are people saying in the live chat? Firstly, they said, do a selfie when you're balancing the dinosaurs. Someone said, you dropped a dippy. Someone said, you dropped a sticky, because we lost a sticky. <laughs> It was carnage. <laughs> well, there we go. It was but fun. Fun so... and carnage. What a lovely way I'm to find history. I'm a bit mind blown by that entire, the, when we both put our arms together. That is unbelievable. Anyway, what is a dinosaur? It can be confusing. So let me uh, tell you with the help of uh, my friend uh, Steggy, Stegosaurus, just here. So a dinosaur is a reptile. Uh, they have scales and plates. In fact, the Stegosaurus has some, oh, where are we? Has some really impressive plates along its spine just here. Um, they are cold-blooded. So we are warm, humans are warm-blooded. That means we can sort of control our own body temperatures, but reptiles can't. Uh, if they want to warm up, they have to get themselves into a nice, warm, sunny place. And as reptiles, uh, they breathe air and they lay eggs as hmm. well. Um, dinosaur is often said, the word dinosaur is often said to mean terrible lizard because their skeletons look like enormous lizards. And lizards are a type of reptile that we find on the planet today, along with uh, turtles, crocodiles, snakes, all, all, uh, all reptiles. Um, but the thing is, a dinosaur isn't a lizard. It's not a lizard. Lizards um, have legs that go out to the side like this and they sort of crawl along. But dinosaurs, you can tell a dinosaur because their legs go straight down. They go straight down so they can support their own weight. But another key thing, and this is really important, dinosaurs lived on land. So Which what does that mean? Which means that means that anything that swam in the sea, like a plesiosaur. This is an ichthyosaur. Ichthyosaur. I'm learning dinos. Uh, <laughs> or like pterodactylus, the ones, the pterosaurs. Pterosaurs, yeah. So anything in the sea or in the sky were technically not dinosaurs. I did not know that till the beginning no. of this week. So they were prehistoric reptiles. We call them mm. sea monsters or flying reptiles. And they will get a look in this week, won't yeah, they? Yeah, later on. So there you go. That is what a dinosaur actually is. So how do we know, a question for you lot, how do we know about dinosaurs? How do we know about them? Yell it out. Fossils. Yes. Yes. So we are going to do a quick quiz. Maddie, it's going to be the first quiz of the week. Hey! You know what that means. Did the T-Rex Today dance? we should really do... Yeah, I, was... <laughs> I just thought of the same thing. Mm, love it. Okay, right. So this is the first quiz. <laughs> the first quiz is all about fossils. I'm going to show you a fossil on uh, one side of the screen, left hand side of the screen. Two potential prehistoric reptiles because there are dinosaurs but there's also some okay. sea monsters and flying reptiles in there as well and you need to work out what animal the fossil is from mm -hmm. Easy okay all right we okay. can play this game can't we all right, so first one coming up. There is the first one. Okay, so I think you've started nice and easy. That looks to me like the fossilised skull of a triceratops, my favourite dinosaur. Correct, good job. All right, you lot at home. What is this fossil on the left-hand side? Uh, is it a Synthiocetus? Nice. Or a Stegosaurus. I think I think the plates give it away that you can see along the spine. We've just seen that, so I think that is a Steggy Stegosaurus. Yes, perfect. Number three, what is... Ooh. What's this fossil on the left-hand side? Uh, is it a Synthiacetus? Synthiacetus. <laughs> or a long-tailed pterosaur? Uh, I think you can see the tail there, so I'm going to go with long-tailed pterosaur, not a dinosaur. Correct. Here's number four. So number four, what is that big 
fossilized skeleton on the left hand side there is it long neck gives it away it's the diplodocus yeah okay next up um what's that one on the left Okay, so is it the Synthiacetus or a Velociraptor? I definitely think that's the Synthiacetus. Correct. Nice, not okay, a last dinosaur. One, last one, bit trickier. <laughs> what is that the uh, the fossilised skull of a Diplodocus or a Tyrannosaurus Rex? I think that is the head of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Correct. And just because you didn't yes. get to see a Velociraptor skeleton, there it is. Awesome. Full marks. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Amazing. How did you lot do at home? Hopefully you did all right on that one. Uh-huh. We need to answer the big question. The we big do. question of the day. What is a fossil? What is a fossil? In yeah. one line, fossils are uh, the stony remains of things that were once alive. That's cool. Right? Stony remains. But that's not good enough for us. We wanted to come up with a make. Uh, something that would be fun that you might want to try at home. So there are different types of fossils, right? Mm -hmm. Some fossils you can actually get of a bone or a whole skeleton. Uh, You could sometimes get a trace fossil from a footstep or a footprint uh, or some leaves and a rock. Try to show you one of them at the end of the show. Uh, And sometimes you get a whole animal trapped, especially if it's a little animal, in some tree sap, which which is is called amber. Yeah, you might have seen that in a film. Uh, or indeed in ice, especially uh, for the later kind of animals like woolly cool. mammoths. But I've got a fun way to show you how a fossil forms. Okay, okay here right? we go. You're going to help with this. Thank you. This is what we're going to use. Uh, going to bring up that camera. Now, I should say that we are going to make an extra large version of this so that you at home can see it on the camera, okay? Uh, If you are trying this at home, I recommend making one that's a little bit smaller. You'll see why. Well done to all of you that are saying you get full uh, full marks on that last quiz. Uh, Sarah Ali, Sifak, uh, loads loads of you lot. All right, okay, so here we go. Yes, okay, brilliant. So here we go. This is what we're going to... We're going to make ourselves a fossil, right? We're going to make it in this container here. Now, this is going to represent what's underneath our feet. So we're actually going to start by putting some some bedrock. Oh, I should say I've made all this with um, with biscuits. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, pop some, some bedrock down in the bottom of that. Okay, so our, the bedrock is our Oreos. So That's bedrock the... formed billions of years ago, like close to when the earth formed, right? So that's what everything kind of builds up on. Okay. Now imagine that we jump forwards to 150 million years ago. And um, firstly, we would have had a bit more kind of rock on Ooh, top of the you. bedrock. So put in, a, put in a bit more rock in there. Okay, I'm going us. for some, some, some bourbons. There we go, I yeah, should say, good. our crunched up rock. That's enough. Lovely. Uh, a couple of layers of rock have kind of formed. Nice. Okay, grand. Now we're 150 million years, okay. Uh, we're, at the, we're in the late Jurassic right now Mm -hmm. and what's happening well stegosaurus and allosaurus are having a fight here you go maddie just here are they yeah show us in the camera oh there you go that's good yeah so stegosaurus and allosaurus are having a fight let's say next to uh, a river like a a, a big Ah. muddy river and the stegosaurus (laughs) dies oh no Ah, ah, ah. oh no you can eat that one (laughs) yeah top of the food chain (laughs) literally right so the stegosaurus has died Mm. now not everything that dies turns into a fossil because quite often its body will be, uh, it will erode, it will be eaten by little critters and it will just kind of decay away. Mm. This one's going to turn to a fossil because what quickly happens, right, to our stegosaurus next to this river is a whole load of mud, tasty, gets glooped, comes comes down the river and goes on top of them. So let's chuck a bit of mud in there. I can see we this is going to be a long episode today. There we go. All right, so some mud comes down and covers our stegosaurus. Lovely. Great. Thank you. Oh, so you much. keep that. So that kind of seals the stegosaurus skeleton in place. Okay. Now we're going to fast forward. We're going to fast forward through lots and lots of years, not just tens or hundreds, thousands of years. And what's going to happen is more and more mud and other bits of rock are going to come down the river or they're going to actually get layered up on top of it during time and that rock is going to slowly start to build up above our stegosaurus and actually all this rock all this sediment all this mud and soil maybe water this sediment is heavy and it's going to push down on itself and this is actually what forms rock so rock is made from all this sediment becomes sedimentary rock so all of this here becomes Big, heavy rock. Right. Okay. So what's happened 
to the skeleton of the Stegosaurus that died all those years ago. So first things, quite soon, uh, lots of the flesh just rotted away. And yeah, you were just left with that skeleton. Then what happens is the skeleton has been squashed by all that rock yeah. above it, the heavy rock, a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And that um, means that the bone that the skeleton's made of gets, it starts to kind of break down. And then water, groundwater in the rock kind of trickles through the rock, trickles through the bone, and it brings something called minerals into the skeleton. Okay. And those minerals start making crystals and it changes the skeleton, the bone of the skeleton, into really hard rock. Okay. So a fossil, a fossil is not made of bone. Okay. It's made of this really hard rock. It's been turned into rock under Got all this it. pressure. So that's because of the, the, the years and years of layers of rock and soil and mud that have built up on top of that, that bone, that skeleton has pressurised it, the water's got in there and that's mineralised and now you've got hard exactly stone that. instead. Now imagine uh, 80 million years later or something, you've got a couple of uh, triceratops fighting uh, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, one of them dies, uh, and then <laughs> oh, that, no. gets, that gets covered in some mud as well. Oh no, so we've got another river that's sort of around about in these times. Another casualty. Poor little Triceratops gets covered. And then there's another layer kind of goes on top of that. <laughs> more and more layers kind of go on top. All right. Nice. And eventually you get so much rock built up that you essentially get to now. So let's put a bit of soil on top. Okay, right, here we go. A bit of soil. And then I've actually got some um, some grass. Let me show you that to the camera. I've just, grass, look, kind of green spiky stuff. And there's our grass. Right. Wow. So what has happened <laughs> Wowie. is we now have fossilized skeletons of a stegosaurus and a triceratop and loads of rock on top of it. And then eventually in the future, maybe uh, there was a sea and the sea levels dropped or maybe the grounds eroded a bit and that skeleton uh, you eventually ends up at the top of the rock yeah. and maybe somebody finds it. So I could actually come along as a human and now- I've given you a better spoon. Oh, have you? Yeah. Where's that? Oh, that's actually part of our excavation oh, okay, dig for fine, later fine, on. Fine. But a human could come along, find this patch of the earth and decide, you know what, I want to make a quarry so they could come along Dig, dig a huge quarry, and that's when they might find the fossils that are buried beneath those layers all of those millions of years ago. Now, we should say, feel free to try that yourself. Um, maybe don't make it that big, because that's probably going to take us how long to eat? We've got dessert for the next month, guys, I think. <laughs> yes. That is um, really cool, There is though. an alternative as well. Let mm -hmm. me uh, get rid of this. There is an alternative, and the alternative is to make this out of... Uh, Jelly. Now again, this is a really, this is a really big one. Okay, uh, I made it so you can see it. But layers of jelly. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can put my camera light on. It looks it. weird. It looks really good as it is. I think. Oh yeah. So you can see there are these layers of jelly that I built up. Uh, you've got some dead kind of snakes, some dead fish. Then you've got like dinosaur, and then eventually you get up to the top, and you get to soil and grass yeah give it a go let us know if you try one so there you go that is how a fossil is made but what a bonkers episode we're doing today the fossils have been made have been, have been made over millions and millions and millions of years but it is the job of paleontologists scientists to study fossils that will come along and um dig up we say they excavate fossils and they'll excavate those fossils out of the ground so they can be taken back to laboratories and studied so we can learn more about uh, life that was once on our planet um so let's we show them how to make yeah i think this fossil. is key first Have of you still all got yeah biscuits still in your mouth i shouldn't have eaten any <laughs> um so first of all here's a little video we, video we made on how to make your own fossils here it is how to make Fossils. First of all, you want to get one cup of ground coffee. So that's used up coffee grounds. Then you want one cup of table salt, one cup of flour, and then finally one cup of sand. I do have some alternative recipes for you in the description box below. So give it a really good mix so that everything is mixed together. And then you want to get about half a cup of water. You might not need all of the water, but mix it together until it's a sticky mixture. So it holds itself together just like that, as if you're making a sandcastle. Now, get yourself some dinosaur toys. Maybe you've got some fossils, but you could just use stones or shells or anything you've got at home. 
stick one of those little toys into sort of a blob of the mixture and then make sure that the, uh, the toy is completely covered. And what you're doing is making yourself sort of little stones if you like. So here's um, another one, this time I'm using an entire dinosaur toy. I'm making sure that everything's covered and then I'm squeezing the mixture around it. And here you go. Now what you wanna do is put these, uh, these stones out in the sun or in a sunny spot and leave them to dry for about three days. And that brings us to now. So I'm actually gonna play paleontologist here. So I'm putting my oh, yeah. uh, paleontologist hat on. You look great. I know, I looked up paleontologists and genuinely they do always wear these hats. It's not just like a cliche. I love that hat. So, so we are now going to, here are the ones we made earlier. Yes. We have got our fossil dig site. So what's happened is um, that wet mixture over the past three days has dried out. And now we have our own rock hard fossils that we can excavate and pretend that we are paleontologists. Yes. So what will happen? A paleontologist, they will use special tools. They might have a chisel, a hammer, and even a paintbrush. And that will allow them to get into the rock to see what fossils they can find. So should we go for this one just here? Yeah, right in the go middle? For it. Go in. This I'm is so in. much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Oh, here we go. Oh! Be very careful. Okay, get the nice. chisel and the hammer. Now the good thing about these is that actually you should be able to crack them open yourself. So let's see what happens if I crack open this. <gasps> and yes. what do we have inside? Oh, can you see that? So it looks like we have found the jawbone, a fossilized um, jawbone of some creature from the past. Um, so now we can try excavate that a little bit more. We can try get it out. And um, obviously paleontologists would be extremely careful when doing this because they wouldn't want to break it. So they might get a little paintbrush just like that to get rid of any of the excess soil. They could even use a little bit of glue, something called resin to keep that fossilized bone intact to keep it together before they remove it from the earth. So I'm going to remove that now. <gasps> this is so said, much fun. Someone said it looked like pizza. Pizza? Oh, it does actually. That's, <laughs> a, good, that's a good point. Loads of people loving your hat. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to brush all of that extra sand and soil off. And now what will happen, we have to transport that very carefully to a lab so we can study it. So I've got a little box here for my specimen, my fossil specimen, and I'm going to take the fossil that we have excavated and I'm going to wrap it carefully in a bandage. They actually, paleontologists will do this to protect it, to keep it together. And then it will go inside a box, which has some nice padding inside to keep it very safe because these things are delicate. They are millions and millions of years old. And then finally, we can label it. I don't know if you have a pen, do you have a pen? Oh, I've got a pen, there you go. There we go. It's one of my so face, we can, uh, lots of different colors in one go. Perhaps you could, if you do this at home, perhaps you could measure it, see how long it is. So we can say that's about three centimeters and we can say it was found in the spare room. <laughs> Just like this. And now we have our own fossil specimen that we've popped in a box yeah i'm gonna have so much fun excavating all of these later genuinely she will she will go and sit out in the garden or in the corner of the room and I'm just so happily happily yeah should we should we do excavate. a little a little selfie right now oh that's a good idea let's do that i yes. think this is pr pretty spot on right you it? lot if you're new to the show um we always like to do a, a, an episode selfie so put someone in front of the screen or yourself in front of the screen get mm -hmm. a camera out and get ready because we like to do an awkward selfie where's my um where's my jug full oh of... i've got it down here I've oh got it. oh i see you've taken it have you what a surprise that's how it is there you <laughs> go. okay good nice uh, and i'm gonna do this okay Perfect. so are you all ready hang on i'm ready towards the camera like that amazing I'll get ready with the t-rex like this everyone three two one it's the awkward selfie time. hashtag awkward, awkward selfie, selfie. did you get a photo hopefully did you get it nice. if you did uh, do share us with it on the socials yeah uh, let everyone else know that you're watching let's go live we've got a, an awesome little community now it's, yeah, we it's, do. It's, it's so good we should say as well that actually we did our own fossil hunting uh, a couple of years ago and yes. you can go um to the youtube channel to our youtube channel and you'll find a video called uh hunting for fossilized shark's teeth mm. but i've left a little link in the description box below 50 million year old fossilized shark's teeth very very cool uh, do you have one i do yeah, have one just here let me see it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'll quickly show I'll you because then we're going to wrap things up switch to this camera hang on switch to that camera switch to this camera sure here you go you see that 
That. So that is actually a fossilised shark's tooth. But I'm not going to go into too much information just because you can go and watch the video. Cool though, right? Nice. Nice. Um, just really quickly, I know it, we are now at 11.30. Can I just quickly show you something else? Got another few minutes? Great, okay. Um, can I grab the Play-Doh? Mm, yeah, of course you right. can. There's another type of fossil that I mentioned earlier, which is called a trace fossil. Now, um, the way this works is... Uh, rather than a bone or a whole skeleton getting fossilized in the way that we showed you before, instead it could be a trace of something. So, uh, for example, let's say that this is a whole load of uh, mud, mud, right? Like soft, squidgy mud next, next to that river again. Yeah, you show us with that mud. So pop this up on the screen again like this. I don't want to cover you. Um, and here's a T-Rex, right? And T-Rex comes along and just steps in that mud and then keeps on going. Can you see what, what T-Rex has left behind? Okay. Got it, some amazing, amazing footsteps. It's just a bit bright, there you mm -hmm. go. So what will then happen is that mud will harden and that will protect that footprint so it can't get washed away or it can't get blown away by the wind. And then that then gets the other layers of sediment on top of it. Pressure turns it into sedimentary rock, more and more layers. And then what happens maybe in the future is those layers get eroded away and then you find this fossilized footprint and paleontologists also study this. What I also love about this, if you just flip that over mm -hmm. like that, is that um, paleontologists can tell a lot. So if you saw a footprint there, right? And then you saw a footprint there, they can tell how fast the animal was running by how far apart ah. the footprints are. Anyway, Which super, is great, it gives us a clue super, into super, how super cool. that um, animal might have lived its life. So we have reached the end of the episode, but before we go, we just wanted to say thank you so much for getting involved in some of our weekend activities. Loads of you um, put your actual own chocolate Easter eggs at risk oh. and made your own egg parachutes and um, we had lots of videos in so we have made a little video of as many of them as we possibly could here they are three two one launch <gasps> wow wow right three two one go we can't scare them one So good. You're so impressive. So, we also got some incredible photos of Mars bases as well, mm -hmm. being built in people's kitchens and lounges and their flat and in the garden. All sorts. Oh, super cool. Yeah. Um, so many amazing messages of people wanting to try building those oh, things. Oh, you should. It's awesome fun. Somebody said, blue mud. Uh, wet water watery wet mud <laughs> and we should say as well we've been we've been talking about paleontologists but actually Craig has been uh, learning lots about a specific paleontologist a woman called Mary Anning she is a hero of mine but you know lots about her don't you yeah and a few people actually mentioning her in the live chat and saying they live down on the Triassic uh, the Jurassic coast um, mm -hmm. down on the south coast of England and um, so I've got a new podcast plug uh, it's called uh, it's called surprisingly brilliant and it tells uh, stories stories from science history and there's one the first episode is all about Mary Anning who discovered the first ichthyosaur uh, discovered the first complete skeleton of a of a plesiosaur super super cool anyway yeah. have a listen it's made for older, older, listeners. older listeners but that first episode I think um, you'll enjoy should it. be all good yeah so we should pretty much wrap things up. Max. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so remember, tomorrow we are going to be designing our own dinosaurs. Um, so and fun. we would just like to say thank you so much to our patrons. Uh, we did make a little video for our patrons this weekend. And you'll also find some links to some special patron treats as well. Four special little uh, yeah. treats. So go have a look. Um, and they'll be available to future patrons as well. Yeah, and without you, we wouldn't be able to continue doing this show. So thank you so much. And of course, to all of our viewers, we appreciate every single one. 
a gig. Yeah, for sure. And if you do want to send us any photos of any fossils that you've made or any uh, layered rocks that yeah. you've, you've created. Fossil um, fun. Fossil fun. That's the that's the subject <laughs> we're going to go for. Fossil fun. Fossil um, fun. Put that as your subject. Hello, let's go live. Yeah, just put it as the subject heading in the email and then we'll know what to look for. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 11am. Really looking sure forward to will. it. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. Stay curious. Bye.